Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this one will be quite important because the debugger is a very powerful and important tool on your gaming journal and therefore it has three key functions, at least in my opinion three key functions. First one is uh, basically performance, so how much memory you're using, how fast your objects are being processed and well how much uh, frames per second you are having and this is just an indication then for you how well your game is overall performing and the second one is testing so if you want to fine tune some values let's say for example your movement speed or um, let's say the projectile speed and you just wanted to change that on the fly just check out and just micromanage it Normally you would be changing the value and then start the game, see if it's okay, then close it, then change the value, start the game. This is kind of, uh, well, cumbersome. You can actually do that in the debugger, which is a very, very um, nice function. Of course, it's just temporary, but then, well, you just change it and then you're pretty much done. And the last one, for well, bug fixing or just going into specific parts of your code, which are breaking points so these little red dots which i just use as bookmarks uh, i completely use it wrong um then you can do that as well so if you wanted to know that in game maker studio stay tuned this is one of indie i am the developer of the indie game lunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video and share my stuff if you can because this is how I grow and then I can eat the world. So where can you actually find the debugger? You go under my well, top left and then you say run or F5 or you just press on debug F6 and then once it opens you get a new tab which just says debugger. So let's flag this off. And then one of the first and easiest things you can actually go go on the windows and then graph because this is not automatically on and here it will give you an indication in real time how many frames per second you're having so this is for me like between i don't know so this is just about let's say 2000 frames per second more or less and then the memory usage and for example, let's well, say you are uh, well after your start screen and then maybe it will dip a little bit lower because now you're having more instances. And here you can just check out, hey, how well the game is performing. For example, if it's um, if the frames per second are quite slow, uh, quite low, or for example, if your memory juice is just shooting up, maybe you have some leakages you want to close. So this is the easy way here to check out your performance. But close it because I don't need it for now you can go under you will get a new kinds of tabs on the bottom right under your debugger and as you can see now it runs so for example your game is running all the time then you go on the others then press start profiling in here it will give you a very neat indication on all your instances which are in your game and how well they are performing so here you see the time under milliseconds and how long it, they need to process because there are not too many in this uh, project this is not an issue but for example if you're seeing hey uh, one of your objects is taking way too long then taking too much of the step then maybe just consider changing something and this is just an indication for you how well they are performing maybe some of them are not too good and then you say aha here i need to go this you can do with your code of course you can go into Game Maker Studio and just check out how much Game Maker Studio needs for its uh, well steps so you can you get some uh, well insight into that but of course you cannot change the engine itself so it's nice to see not sure what you need it for but of course you can check it out if you like and here on the right side you will have some buffers if you have any then you can actually check out all, um, all that if you like but here we come to the next part because this is just about performance let's go into testing because testing is one of the more interesting parts in my opinion there 
Oh, and by the way here, memory, as you can see on the top right, it already shows the same. And this is pretty good. For example here, you just go under enable real-time debugging and of course you can pause your game, restart it or completely close it if you like and then you can check it out. Of course it runs as normal so there's no difference here. And here you can go under variables and let's go under instances and then you, your instances will be having a name. I guess I cannot zoom in here, sorry, so this will be quite small. Then every instance which is in the room is now in here and it will be assigned a number so this is how game maker studio actually works because all those things which you are having in your resource tree and in the end just number so you can put in the number or you can put in the name it would work the same you can actually check it out if you like so there's no issue with this one and for example once you press on the plus you can open it up and there you will see all those um, interesting, all those um, variables which are inside this thing. And here there are the inbuilt ones. So for example, if you don't know them all, well, here you go. So you get the ID. So how it's called, this is this guy here. Then the X and Y position, the direction and so on and so on. And then sometimes maybe you see a minus one value. This just means that it's been flagged off, it's not being used. So for example, this is a specific event, but it doesn't have anyone. So I guess game maker to the toggles is at minus one and then it's not being used. The other ones all the time there, even though maybe you don't use them, for example, direction, friction, and so on. These things are always being well, created once the instance is there. So they are just bundled together, even though maybe you don't use them. So there are quite a few, won't be delving into that. But for example, let's say you want to change some of the inbuilt ones. So for example, now he's not moving, but we can actually change it. So we just pause it, go into horizontal speed, give it a two. And let's go for one, start the game again, bam. And as you can see, it moves automatically, <laughs> which, well, this is how you, for example, can change the values on the fly. You just have to pause and then you can actually check it out. And this is pretty sweet. So for example, I have a variable which I call move speed. So this is if I go into my play and to the step event. This one defines how fast I move. For example, I want to change it and then I want to fine tune it. I say, hmm, I'm not sure I want to make it higher or slower. Then I go for five. Yeah, then of course now because I was on the field I reset it once again, pause it, give it a five. And this is how you can fine tune your variables in there. Let's start it again and bam as you can see now he is on a substance which I wanna don't wanna call here. So <laughs> this is how you can actually change and test and micromanage and fine-tune your values in Game Maker Studio, which is pretty sweet. So these are one of those things you can do. Of course, maybe you want to hold your game and we want to target a specific instance. So for example, we click on this guy here. This is an instance as well. And now you see a ah, selected instance to hit. So this is this guy here. There you can use, of course, uh, well, in here as well. This is this guy, but of course, maybe you want to uh, take one out easier just by, by clicking on it and then you can change him as well, which is pretty sweet. So this is another way how you can actually target those things. Just keep in mind that you have to pause the game. And the last thing, which are just breaking points. Let's say, for example, you want to do some code and your code is not working as intended then maybe you say okay i put a breakpoint and this is the red thing which i just used as a marker silly me yeah <laughs> and then what will happen for example um uh, let's close the debugger and for example once we start the debugger again because last time it didn't work correctly i just throw in sword and then i reduce the hp so for example above its head it has 10 once i throw one it reduces and then as you can see the game has actually stopped 
and we are on this line and this is how you can for example create those breaking points because this is what they are they just break on those points and then you can actually find them under breakpoints so line 8 and this is for example you click on that and bam it just jumps to that because maybe you want to check those things um, during the runtime and you want to see okay why is it not performing what's happening and then you can jump one step further and so on and for example let's we can do something like this and like this and then let it run again and then for example if you would jump to this point and hover over so working okay um actually this value is for example not updated of the player instances let's see that if it's actually if i'm because i've seen it in ah, as you can see now in the real time my hp is nine it was 10 at the start and as you can see these values are getting updated all the time this is how you can actually check it out all right i wanted to bug fix things and the other thing is for example syntax errors so here are minor ones for example you can just double click on one of here and then it just says hey uh line three it's not being used because well i don't use it it's just for check for showing some stuff <laughs> and it's just saying hey bad code actually we don't need it this is just a reminder and here of course are maybe some other ones which actually can break your game but during runtime they didn't throw an error so this is a pretty sweet for debugging and fixing your game because the game maker studio gives you this really really great tool the debugger at hand which is pretty sweet so that was pretty much it hopefully you enjoyed it and now you can actually use the debugger to your advantage in those three areas have a good one one up in.